Hello, this is Ismail Abdus Salam. Today we will talk about absorption channel. It's the most important component and the story of operation. As you can see, we will going to start talking about absorption channel through our company. Our company name is ICE for Contracting and Engineering, which working in the field of commercial agencies, operation and maintenance and electromechanical contracting. ICE is a distribu distributor for Samsung Tech. Samsung Tech is a Korean company and was separated from Samsung Heavy Industry since the year 2000. And one of its most distinctive products is Samsung Absorption Chiller. Now, we will start to explain the components of absorption chiller. The first thing we have here as shown, the first shell is evaporator and absorber. The first part, which is the evaporator, is located on the left side, which consists of a large bundle of copper pipes and the refrigerant is evaporated inside it. The refrigerant here, in this case, is distilled water and evaporated in the evaporator at very low pressure, around six, milli six millimeter mercury. The second part, which is located on the right side, is absorber, which consists of a large bundle of copper pipe. Inside the absorber, Concentrated lithium bromide absorbs the water vapor, which generated in the evaporator. So lithium bromide, in, the, in this case, is absorbent. That is why this part is called absorber. The second chill is condenser and low temperature generator. The condenser it is also consists of, of a bundle of copper tubes. And of course, the water vapor is condensed inside it. The low temperature generator, it is also con consists of a bundle of copper tubes. Inside it, the steam is generated from diluted solution, which is heated by steam generated in high temperature generator. The third shell is high temperature generator, which is a bundle of iron copper, which is a bundle of iron pipes made of carbon steel, fixed vertically, where the solution passes inside the pipes and the hot gases passes around them from outside. The heating of lithium bromide occurs inside it which is indicated in the red color and the vapor is separated from lithium bromide by heating. It is clear here the, in the picture. Direct fire for heating lithium bromide by using natural gas or diesel oil. In the following steps, we'll start to explain the cooling procedure, all the steps and the stages of the cooling process. Of course, like all the chillers, the cooling process takes place in the evaporator. We can see the refrigerant, refrigerant pump is suck the refrigerant from the bottom of the evaporator, as we can see which is distilled water. The refrigerant here is a distilled water and spread again over the chilled water pipes, which is indicated here in dark blue. This is a occur at pressure inside evaporator about six millimeter mercury, which, which equal 0.8 kilopascal absolute pressure. Please note that. The pressure here is much lower than atmospheric pressure because the atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 millimeter mercury. 
when we are preparing the chiller for startup, we make the vacuum for chiller body from atmospheric pressure to reach the pressure of six millimeter of mercury of mercury. Then the water boils or evaporates at five degrees Celsius. Of course, we all know what happens to liquid in order to evaporate because it withdraws the latent heat of evaporation from the chilled water so that the standard condition is chilled water enters the chiller at 12 Celsius and exit at 7 Celsius as a result of process of water evaporation and withdrawal of the latent heat of the evaporation from the chilled water which is estimated around 2500 kilojoule per kilogram of, of evaporated water in this case the chilled water is cold and vapor is generated and filled the evaporated space and they begin to cross into the absorber space through the eliminator. Therefore, we need to get rid of this vapor in order to get a new vapor to occur. And the cooling process continues. To get rid of the vapor, it is separated. It is sprayed, the concentrated lithium bromide. With concentration 63 percentage and with temperature is around 45 degrees Celsius on the vapor. Okay, please note all the temperatures and the measurements that I will mention in this video are at full load, but at partial load, the degree will be lower than they are. So, lithium bromide with concentration of 63 and temperature 45 Celsius will be sprayed on the vapor present in absorber. Please note, the lithium bromide is very voracious for absorbing water vapor. And lithium bromide molecules absorb water vapor molecules. So its concentration decreases and reaches to 53% uh, as a result of absorbing the vapor. It is shown here the yellow color because its concentration decreases from 63% to 53 during the absorbing process. It is noted that the temperature of lithium bromide rises because its result from process of absorption of an exothermic reaction. And with the increase of temperature of lithium bromide, its ability to absorb additional water vapor decreases. So it should be cold in order to increase its absorption capacity again to withdraw a largest amount of vapor. Now, it is the importance of cooling water which is coming from the cooling tower to cool the lithium bromide solution in the absorber first and then in the condenser in the last stage. The cooling water enters the chillers with a standard temperature 32 Celsius and exit the cooling tower with 37 Celsius. Now the next step will be for heating the lithium bromide to increase the concentration again to separate the water vapor from, from it and recondensing it and returning it to again to evaporator again to re-evaporate it again and the cooling process continues. The first step is to suck the diluted lithium bromide from absorber which has a concentration 53% and temperature 35 Celsius and bumping it by using a circulating bump. To high temperature generator to reheat it 
again with gas or any energy source, which can be natural gas, diesel oil, steam, or hot water. In some application, it can be using heat, heat generated from solar energy to rise the solution temperature to 150 Celsius and concentration 63%. <clears throat> then it returns again to absorber, of course, from HTG high temperature generator at temperature 150 Celsius, and it is need to enter the absorber at 445 degrees Celsius. Of course, the lithium bromide solution needs to be cooled from 150. <clears throat> to 45 degrees Celsius and at the same time we need to heat the solution of lithium bromide going out from the absorber to increase its temperature from 35 to 150 therefore we need to cool one bus and we need to cool one bus and heat the other bus so <clears throat> in order to rise the efficiency of consumption of energy, two heat exchangers are inserted. The first one is low temperature heat exchanger, and the second one is high temperature heat exchanger. After we put the two heat exchangers in place, That the lithium bromide solution coming from absorber with temperature 35, this one, it reheated to 110 Celsius. According to that, the required heating for diluted lithium bromide solution in high temperature generator is only to raise the temperature of the solution from 110 to 100. 50 Celsius. So the required energy is decreased. And for the other bus, concentrated lithium bromide. Its temperatures decreased from, from 150 degrees to 90 degrees. After, after moving through high temperature heat exchanger. And then decreased again after the spray bump pushed it into low temperature heat exchanger. They should appropriate temperature of 45 Celsius to be pushed into the spray Three. In this case, the lithium bromide cycle is completed, but there is a steam that generated in high temperature generator while working on increasing the concentration of lithium bromide solution. Of course, this steam contains internal thermal energy that can be utilized. So that the steam was sent to low temperature generator in order to get this thermal energy. The temperature of the generated steam reached to 140 degrees Celsius, which is sober heated steam. A branch of diluted lithium bromide coming after low temperature generator, low, low temperature heat exchanger connected before entering high temperature heat exchanger to be sprayed on, on the pipes of steam and the steam buses inside the pipes of low temperature generator so, so that the diluted lithium bromide is heated and its temperature is raised from 70 to 88. 
and its concentration increased to be 62 percent and separating the vapor from it as we can see it is clear in this design that the amount of lithium bromide that is bumped from absorber is divided into two branches the first directed to high temperature generator and the second directed to low temperature generator in order to save energy consumption that is why this design is called double effect absorption chiller because there is two generators the concentration of lithium bromide solution is is withdrawn from high tem temperature generator and the low temperature generator <clears throat> by using spray bump and bump it together to spray trays in the absorber passing through low temperature heat exchanger this one the flow in this design is called parallel flow because the lithium bromide solution circulation is divided into parallel buses as it is clear. Therefore, the two cir circulation buses of lithium bromide solution are fully completed. Uh, the new are completed, the supply and the return bus. Now, we have to complete the bus of the steam we are connecting the steam to low temperature generator this one to heat the lithium bromide inside it by internal energy of steam after that we complete the bus of the steam that comes out of low temperature generator which if phase change it to saturated water and its temperature around 90 Celsius after that saturated water its temperature is high and sent to condenser and they mix it with the new steam generated in low temperature generator for condensing steam and collect together and then go to the evaporator Now the working circuits has been completed. The solution and water are working in closed circuit that con continues in cooling system. However, there are some improvements which which will be used to raise the energy efficiency and improve coefficient of performance, which reached 1.51. The first of these improvements is using drain heat exchanger on saturated water which comes from low temperature generator and its temperature is 90 degrees Celsius and to get the benefit of this energy to heat a part of this bromide by using the energy inside it and also to reduce the temperature of saturated water from 90 to 60 to reduce the energy inside the condenser also the second improvement using exhaust heat exchanger the temperature of the exhaust coming out from high temperature generator reach to more than 200 degrees Celsius. So the heat inside exhaust is added to exhaust heat exchanger and to heat the part of lithium bromide is taken after low temperature heat exchanger to exhaust heat exchanger and then go to heat, heat high temperature generator. Thank you for watching and I hope you have get some helpful information from this video 
and I hope to meet you again in other videos in the near future. God willing.